This is a very brief video on how to basically expose a public IP address for your Kubernetes pods inside of your Kubernetes cluster. So again, the user is going to come in on port 80 and then through some of the routing mechanisms, it's going to NAT it to port 5000 of our pod. So we have Python, a web service, listening on port 5000, but the user is coming in on port 80. That's what we're going to demonstrate here. Here's the command on how to do that in um, using the kubectl command, kubectl. And you can see here the mapping of port um, 80 to port 5000 inside of the target um, pod. And of type load balancer means that it's going to be an external IP address, a public IP address. So we're going to do that as a simple command coming up here in a moment, but just be aware that it's going to get routed to port 5000. And you can see the command here again. Um, just the one we showed earlier. Let's go ahead now and run this command. And it will take a few moments for this public IP address to get exposed. So we're going to say um, kubectl get pods, and then we'll say go ahead and get the service, and you'll notice the pending here sitting waiting for us to actually, uh, waiting for the system to come up with this public IP address. So again, that'll take a few moments. We'll try again a couple minutes later, see if we get any further. Um, pods are still up and running. Let's go ahead and get the service. There are, we have it, 13.64.236.97. That's a public IP address that we can access from a browser, from a curl command, what have you. Let's try a curl first. We're going to hit the init endpoint, which was described in earlier videos, that that's the initialization, the mapping within the Python Flask application, the web service. So we're good to go here. Um, everything's working. Um, we've got it just the way we want it. We have a public IP address allowing any, anyone at all to hit this service.